There are. What I would say is that you have to also calibrate it to like one thing, one piece of advice that you know somebody gave me at one point that I kind of wish I'd listened to a little bit sooner was when you go and look for a company, thinking about the size of the company and the orientation of the company, not not just the growth of that company, but also just like what's your sweet spot and what do you like, and then kind of match that to like what you want to do in your career. So if you want to continue being an individual contributor but you know that you get bored in an area within a year, year and a half kind of thing. Or you're like, I really know everything that there is to know about React and I keep doing that, but I want to learn some other languages and I want to work on more backend stuff or systems programming or whatever it is. You got two choices. Like one is to work for a company that has a lot of those domains. And that kind of means it's got to be big enough to do that, right? Like GitHub at about somewhere between three and 4,000 people at this point is we have all those functions and there is some internal mobility that's available to go and do that. The other thing I would say is that the other way you can actually go about doing that, become a generalist and to move around, as long as you don't mind a little bit of the chaos, is to go work at a startup. Because in a startup, as an engineer or an engineer on a small team, you're going to naturally wear a lot of hats. You're going to own a lot of the tech stack. Now, there's no, if you want to switch domains or you want to switch areas on a slower cadence, that's probably not the best, best move. But working in a startup allows you to both work in front end, back end, data systems, whatever, data analytics and all this kind of stuff kind of at the same time. But if you don't like all that frequent context switching and things like that and having to page in all these different areas, then sometimes maybe a startup isn't necessarily the best for you. So the advice is kind of you got to know yourself and then match that to the size and type of company and maturity of the company that you're going to work. If you enjoyed this clip, make sure you watch the entire video, which has a lot more content just like this. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of our episodes where we talk to leaders in the tech industry, from software engineers to product managers to engineering managers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click the notification bell. And that's all the time we have for this week. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.